Hi everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com and we're going to take a look at some ticker symbols that are in play today. Okay, let's look at TZA. This is the Drixon uh, Daily Small Cap Bear three times. So this is uh, the, the inverse ETF for the uh, for the small caps for IWM and uh, th th this is showing you here that there's a nice uptrend going uh, off of the lows and so the candles are currently forming above the middle Bollinger Band that's the dotted purple line and then above the 50-day simple moving average that's the green line here uh, notice how this uh, there hasn't been a close above the 50-day simple moving average since back here in November so uh, th this is a, a big move that's happened in the last few trading days um, it is the key level to hold it's currently at 1887 if there's a close below that level then you could see a drop down to 1815 down, down to the middle Bollinger Band as long as the middle Bollinger Band holds, then this new uptrend is intact. If there's a break below, then that could signal continuation of the downtrend and, and a, a drop down to the, uh, or uh, it could signal the start of a new downtrend and a drop down to this lower Bollinger Band down here near 17. If, if the 50-day simple moving average turns into support, then the, this uh, high close back here in January will be the key level to break. If it can bust through that level, then, then you're looking at a potential run up to the 100-day simple moving average. Notice that there was this really strong uh, uh, couple month channel at this level so uh, just above 20 um, that, that'll be a big level to break if it can break that it looks like it could run up to about 2150 or so um, so so uh, yeah l keep an eye on TZA it has been uh, heating up and um, it does look like it has some more upside potential uh, uh, RSI is up here at 55 and so uh, the, you know there's a lot more room until the 70 overbought level and you have a uh, uh, fasto up here uh, you know it just had a bullish crossover and ADX with plus DI above minus DI and ADX shows the bulls are in control. Okay, let's look at SPXS. This is the uh, uh, S&P 500 bear uh, three times. Uh, th this is the uh, uh, inverse for the for the SPY and, um, you know, three times the move. And, and what we have going on here is a bounce off the lows, uh, very similar to, to the move that, um, that, that, that's been made on TZA. It's just this chart hasn't heated up the way the way TZA is heated up. Um, what's going on here is the, the the there was a bounce off the lower Bollinger Band, and then it had been trying to turn EMAs four and eight into support, which are the pink and green lines. Uh, today there was a close above both levels, but below EMA thirteen, that is this orange line. Notice how you know this was the last time um, it closed above this level was way up here, and so um, all you know all these candles here close below EMA 13. So that's going to be the key level to break along with the middle Bollinger Band. That's this dotted purple line. If there's a close above both levels, that could signal the possible start of a new uptrend for SPXS. If it fails to turn that level into support, the, both those levels, the EMA 13 and the middle Bollinger Band, that would signal continuation of the downtrend. There was this gap here uh, between these two candles, the low on this candle and the high on this candle, and that gap filled. If you draw a, a, a ascending support line here and a horizontal uh, resistance line Th this forms what what looks like a, a bear flag so so it has this uh, bear flag look to it right now which bear flags if they fail to break the horizontal resistance line it signals uh, more downside risk and so uh, in order to break out it's going to need to bust out above this middle Bollinger Band if that happens then you're looking at a potential run up here to the upper Bollinger Band notice there was very low volume yesterday on, on, on uh, Monday you know had to go way back here into January to, to see such a low volume day. And, and so, so there's not, um, you know, it, it, things have been in a holding pattern. This has been trading sideways. So everybody's waiting for the Fed decision that's going to happen tomorrow at, I believe, 11 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Notice the uh, bullish crossovers on MACD and the, the uh, parabolic SAR is below the candles. Okay, let's look at ARNA. Um, the, the earnings came out today and um, after hours, and there was this big move after hours on their earnings beat and um so tomorrow, it looks like uh, right now the close after hours was at 170. So notice that the close today was down here at, at um, 142, and um, the the 
right currently after hours it's trading all the way up here at uh, at 170 and so as you can see 170 would be above all the, the moving averages right here that we follow and so it'd be trading above all the moving average resistance levels the top moving average to break would be this 300 day simple moving average which is the uh, blue line and it's currently at 162 that that that's the top resistance level so uh, you know if it does pull back you want to see that level hold the turn to support and if it does that would signal more upside potential there's going to be a big gap on the chart a big space more than likely if it does break out higher and it can uh, uh, it keeps running th then back here in October the, the the high close back in October uh, around 186 or so that's going to be the key level to break if it can bust through that then it could head higher so uh, keep an eye on a R N A. It, it's going to be in play pre-market tomorrow. Uh, you know there has been a pattern uh, lately where uh, the the gap up open plays have uh, sold off after the open, and then black candles have formed. That that that's been the the current pattern. It, it, you know there have been you know stocks that have gapped up and ran higher, but but a, a, a lot of these are getting sold off. So just keep that in mind. Um, you know a lot of the easy money was made um, pre-market today or after hours today when the news came out and so uh, th there was a volume spike into the close so so it looks like th there were traders that were betting that the earnings were going to be good so people were loading up it looks like here uh, on the pullback and so yeah keep an eye on ARNA okay let's look at COMPQ this is the uh, NASDAQ composite index and uh, you know the last video I, I uh, showed a look at the Dow Jones industrial average and so I want to show you what the NASDAQ looks like as you can see here it's been on this really strong uptrend uh, uh, notice this is the, the ascending resistance line, ascending support line. The ascending support line is lined up with this middle Bollinger Band. Uh, notice how, how the, the, the candles uh, hit resistance up here and then uh, traded sideways. And there's a sideways channel. And now they've worked their way right to this middle Bollinger Band and to the ascending support line. So those are the two key levels to hold. If there's a close below that level tomorrow, that's going to be putting the, the lower Bollinger Band on deck. Break below the lower Bollinger Band, you can see a drop all the way down to the 50-day simple moving average. That would be the big correction that people are talking about or the start of this correction if, if you see a, a, a pullback. Um, the the if if support holds if this middle Bollinger Band holds in the ascending support line then this is the bottom of the channel and then you could see a, a push up here it will need to break above the upper Bollinger Band which is currently lined up with this high close the the first trading day in March that's the key level to break if it can close above that then you could see it heading higher and possibly running to the top of this channel so so uh, as you can see here that this sideways pattern there's been dojis that have formed right and a near doji formed today. Um, this is signaling indecision. So there's lots of it. Basically, NASDAQ has been in a holding pattern. It's just been trading sideways. And so it's all coming down to the uh, Fed decision tomorrow and, and how the market responds to the anticipated rate hike. You know, is the uh, rate hike already priced in or are we going to see the uh, standard sell off? You know, it could be, uh, you know, you know, this could go either way. You know, uh, it could be sell the news. But since it's been already uh, trending sideways, you know, we could get a pop. We'll have to see what happens. Okay, so here's a D. T I I ticker symbol D D I I. This is an over-the-counter stock. Um, check it out over here. This thing was up uh, two thousand eight hundred and fifty percent today, in one day. That's why people trade over-the-counter stocks. Um, you, you know, you can get these huge percentage gains. Um, they are very risky to trade. It is the wild west. Um, if we just look at this from a technical perspective, uh, what's happening is is there was a giant volume spike today. Notice the 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 candles beforehand, uh, before the run. You know, this is the load. This is everybody loading before the the big uh, catalyst came today. Notice this had hardly any volume for the for the big walk down. They walked it down, loaded, had the big run, giant volume spike today, parabolic SAR bullish flip, very bullish close above the 50-day simple moving average. That is the key level to hold at 0 0.016. It did close above the upper Bollinger Band. If the share price pulls back, that's what you just want to see, this triple junction hold with the uh, EMA4, the upper Bollinger Band, the 50-day simple moving average. If all those levels hold and it pulls back, that'll be healthy, and then the and it can spring forward and then make a run up to the 100-day simple moving average. If it's running again out of the gate tomorrow, then the 100-day simple moving average is the next target all the way up at 0, .0 
625. That happens a lot of times. You know, you get a run to the next level, but being up, uh, you know, over 2,000, you know, uh, close to 3,000% here on the day, you never know. It could, you know, there could be a gap down open. We'll just have to see how this plays out and if the momentum continues. If it does, then you're talking about a run to the 100. If it breaks the 100, then you're talking about a run up to the 200. You know, there's not a lot of resistance here. There's not a lot of volume prior to this. Um, you know, there's these two uh, resistance clusters uh, here in January that, that need to be bust, you know, need to be broken through. You know, not a lot of volume at those levels. So there's not a lot of people holding from the, from those levels. So, uh, you know, it could run back up here to this uh, prior resistance level. So we just have to see how this plays out. Uh, keep an eye on DTII tomorrow. It was the big winner today over the counter. We'll see if it can continue. Okay, let's look at DRIP. This is the uh, S&P uh, uh, bear three times. And so uh, oil, you know, has been under pressure. And so uh, right now, um, yeah, you can see RSI is still in the bull zone, you know, bullish crossover on Fasto. Uh, th this had been in this nice uh, uptrending channel since the low back here in December. And, and then, uh, you know, it broke above the middle Bollinger Band, started this really nice uptrend, and that's continued. And then there is this break last week above the top of this channel, the ascending resistance line, uh, after uh, turning the 100-day simple moving average into support. That's the gold line. And so there's been this launch higher. What's going on is there's a gap back here in November. And the, uh, th this line right here is the, uh, so you have the bottom of the gap, the top of the gap, and, and then you have some uh, uh, support levels here that, that are being hit now that, that, that are now resistance. If it can break past this, this high close here, then you're looking at uh, the, the bottom of the gap. Notice the top of the wick almost hit the bottom of the gap. If it can break the bottom of the gap, it could fill the gap and possibly run up here to the 200-day simple moving average. That is the next target. If this strong uptrend continues, uh, th then this red ascending resistance line, you want to see it turn into support and then a new resistance line created for, for a new uptrend, you know, for the uptrend uh, continuing but at a higher level. And so so it's trying to break out higher. If it pulls back, bulls, you want to see the, the red line uh, ho hold as support. It's currently lined up with EMA 8. Um, you know, this has been holding the EMAs. As long as it's staying above the middle Bulger band and, and it's holding this 100-day simple moving average, this will be a really strong uh, chart with more upside potential. Okay, let's look at RTK. RTK is, is a was a dead cat bounce play. Notice it's still oversold on RSI and it's oversold on Fasto. There was this uh, big gap down back in February. It pulled way down. We've been waiting this entire time for a close above this pink line, which is EMA4, and that finally happened today. So check out this candle. Closed above the pink line for the first time since the drop. Um, it, it, it tested EMA8 at, at currently at 80 cents. That is the key level to break. And so if there's a close above that tomorrow, then we're talking about a potential move up here to the uh, uh, EMA13. And so, uh, yeah, so I just had to post this chart today to show you RTK is finally in play. We've been tracking it this entire time and look how long it took. It took all these candles to finally get to this day. This uh, did have a close above resistance on a volume spike. MACD is pinched on 12.26 and 9. If that crosses over, that'll be a signal the chart is heating up. 8.13 and 5 already crossed over, and, and that was signaling uh, more upside potential. So if you can get a, a break above EMA 8 and then a break EMA 13, you could be talking about a potential run up to the middle Bollinger Band. Now, if there's a close back below EMA 4, then it will no longer be in play. That is the magic line right there. Candles have to be forming with closes above that level for more upside potential. For these dead cat bounce plays, it's always a super big risk to hold if EM if they're if stocks are forming below e, or candles are forming below EMA4. If EMA4 is resistance, that's a signal that the downtrend is very strong. If you notice here, the lower Bollinger Band is is uh, off the chart here, uh, way down there at 26. So that's going to be the next support level. If you see a break below uh, this uh, 71, 72 zone here. So yeah, so ch keep an eye on our. RTK. We'll see if it can follow through. And then one more here in this video, we're going to look at CUR. Okay, this stock is uh, breaking out today. Um, it, it, if you notice here, I had to go way back on the chart to find uh, the, the, the second resistance zone. The first resistance is this closing price right here in January. That is the key level to break. It was tested today. And so uh, a close above that level could signal a potential for uh, to, to continue filling this gap. Notice back here in uh, what 
what is this like April May? Um, this gap was created. Uh, it, it looks like the first candle was on the uh, the the first trading day in May. Off the the, the top of the gap is the uh, low of day on that day, and the bottom of the gap is the high of day <coughs> on the on the following candle. And so the, this gap is it you know got halfway filled to this line right here. But there's still this big space in between this line and this line. And so if there's a break above six resistance, then that could signal a potential uh, gap fill and a run up to 750. Okay, so keep an eye on CUR. This looks like it could continue heading higher. <coughs> Bulls want to see the 300-day simple moving average turn into support. And that will signal more upside potential. If it breaks, then you could see a pullback. Okay, so yeah, thank you for viewing this chart. Check us out in this video. Check us out at mychartcoach.com and our YouTube channel at mychartcoach.com. Thank you.